look, there's Rush Limbaugh coming out of Michael Moore's house at 2 in the morning. I wouldn't believe it if I hadn't seen it myself. Well, your dog was right, Lois. Looks like there's no story here. Michael Moore is clearly not gay. Hey there, buddy. Check it out. Check it out. I put a crawler in the Jerry's Kids jar. I thought that'd be funny. That is hilarious, but Carl, I want you to hire my sister back. No, Chris, she's a pain in the ass. I, I don't want her back in here. Well, that's a shame, because I watched Event Horizon last night. No way! We have to talk about it! Yeah, well, my memory is, uh... Well, it sure was nice of Maya West to drop the kidnapping charges. It's amazing. All he asked for in return was the key to a Volkswagen Scirocco. You're welcome. Well, if you ask me, I think laying off the sauce could do you some good, Brian. Yeah, right. If you need me, I'll be in the kitchen. Oh, I hope he finds faith of some kind. You know who doesn't have all these problems? Marmaduke. All he does is eat pies off the high counter. Next time around, we're going to get ourselves a big, tall, pie-eating dog, Lois. Okay, Peter. Or Howard Huge. Let's get Howard Huge. Great. We have a game plan. Well, we're home. 30 days of sobriety, and we can finally drink again. Oh, for God's sake, Peter, didn't you learn anything from this? Yes, I did, Lois. These are going in the garbage. But these, I'm keeping for myself. Moderation, Lois. Wow, Peter, I never thought I'd see the day. Good for you. From now on, half of every six-pack I buy is going in the trash. I'm just saying this war is wrong. Son, your job isn't to decide whether it's right or wrong. Your job is to follow orders. Well, that's what the Nazi soldiers did, isn't it? They followed orders. You're saying our troops are like the Nazis? No, I'm just saying that blindly following orders has resulted in the deaths of millions of people throughout history. You know, I have not talked to Carol all night. Carol, how are you? Dad, have you seen my book bag? What, Chris? Ah! Okay, so the topic is going to be, should God play a role in politics? Oh, and here's your heartworm pill wrapped in bologna. Stewie, the point of the bologna is that I don't know the pill is there. Why am I standing under an air vent? Um, because, because that's because where Because that's you, where I... I... I because... Because... Well, well... I can... I can... Uh, you, yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> What's the matter? Uh, there wasn't oxygen. There was a tank of Tony Danza's breath. I uh, wonder who got my oxygen tank. Gosh, this has been an amazing week, Brian. I still can't believe you beat up that guy who tried to mug us. That was a great dinner. Yeah, I really like that salmon you recommended. Yes, may I help you, gentlemen? Hey, you're in a tough part of town. Now give me your purse, dollface. Hey, you get your hands off that. I don't care how many of you there are, you're not taking this purse. How the hell we on? Let's get them, boys. Brian? <gasps> Luke! What are you doing here? I escaped, Meg. I escaped because I just couldn't bear another second away from you. My God, how did you get out? I filed down a toothbrush to a fine point and stabbed the guard with the most kids. What? I'm just kidding. Oh, I'm still getting used to your sense of humor. Actually, there was a riot in the prison yard, and I slipped over the fence. Well, well, quick, get in here before somebody sees you. Fancy place. Boy, that'd make some second honeymoon, huh? The Park Barrington is already attracting some big names, such as Christianity enthusiast Mel Gibson, who has his own room on permanent reserve. A room which he barely uses. Barely uses, huh? Lois, I just got an idea. Much better than that time I experimented with gene splicing. Uh, Lois, quick question. Do we have any Tylenol? Both of you are under arrest for prostitution. It's not prostitution. You paid her to have sex. No, I paid her to have sex, and we're filming it. So technically, it's not prostitution. It's a porno. Oh. Well, as long as you're filming and selling it, it's legal. Enjoy your day. Remember, kids, she's not a whore if she's an actress. W what do you mean you found the Lord? I've been washed in the blood of the Lamb. Kurt Cameron explained it all to me. The Lord is my savior. It's that damn religion channel. She was watching it all day while she was bedridden. I want to share the word of God with everyone I know, starting with my family. Now, everyone hold hands, because we are going to say grace before we eat. Dad, would you like to do the honors? Are you kidding? I'd love a chance to shine. All right, Peter, this is it. You know, I think I have a theory. It's possible that when we went back in time, we somehow altered the past. Hey, Brian, that's more ridiculous than the theory of why Tom Cruise runs in all his movies.
Wow, that cameraman has nice strong arms. You can't catch me, gay thoughts! But if you plan to beat me, you'll have to... <gasps> what is it? A bee just flew in through the window. Don't move. Hmm. Now look who's mayor. First order of business. Free honey for everyone. Yay, Mayor B, Mayor B, Mayor B. Ow! Oh, done stung myself. Bye, world. If you're watching this, it means they didn't cut the rope when I climaxed. As a result, I'm now dead. That's not it. If you're watching this one, it means the train wasn't able to push the DeLorean up to 88 miles per hour, and I'm still stuck in 1885. This could take a while. Eaten by sharks while snorkeling. Stabbed to death in a Toys R Us bathroom. 1940s roller skate left in the hall. Death by chocolate. <laughs> no, no, leaving it. Had a heart attack and have slipped into a coma. Here we go. In that case, I leave control of my company, Pewter Schmidt Industries, to my daughter, Lois. All right, students, we have a special speaker today who's going to educate you about sex. Please welcome, from the First Evangelical Church, the Reverend Jerry Kirkwood and the Opal Ring Crusade. Hey, kids, put your Walkmans down and listen up, because we're going to talk about sex. Sex? Hang on there, Jerry. God! What are you doing here? I was just passing through on my way to see The Matrix. <laughs> we can relate to that. No fake. Oh, there you boys are. How was your meeting? 29 more and we're done. That's how it was. Well, that doesn't sound like the right attitude. Well, if you weren't there, it was awful. Just a bunch of losers telling boring stories. My drinking ruined my marriage. My drinking ruined my family. My drinking ruined my TV show, 24. I see you got your own thing going on this week, but there's a new teacher at preschool who deactivates the camera and then hits us. Oh, I'm sorry your time is up and you didn't score enough points, but thank you for playing. What, what that's it? We lose? I'm afraid so, but we enjoyed having you here. You son of a bitch. What about my cave in the yard? What about my cave in the yard? Get your hands off me. I served in the fictitious military. Okay, we have Rose from Cranston on the phone. Welcome, Rose. Can I take your order? Um, yes. That turkey, th that raw turkey that you ate off the counter last week that got Lois mad, when you pooped that out, was the timer still in there? And we're out of time. This has been the lunch hour. Join us next week when our guest will be Gore Vidal. And remember, life is full of entrees, so don't fill up on bread. I'm going to throw you now to Weenie in the Butt in the afternoon. We now return to grainy footage of a potential Bigfoot that will surely spark a lively debate in your household. Oh, my God, that is real. No, total fake. That's totally real. That's totally fake. Look at the way it walks. Open your mind. Why would somebody make that up, Lois? What's in it for them? Ryan? Yeah? I don't feel so good. All right, that's it. We got to do something about this. We have got to get that record and destroy it. Just like that fat person's surgery destroyed Star Jones's arms. <laughs> well, it looks like I'm a man with no sperm. But I'll always be a man with no sperm who once had a wonderful day. Look, this is a really big deal. It'd be nice to get some support around here. Oh, I'm sorry, Brian. That's great news. Yeah, what channel would the award ceremony be on? Oh, are they having an award ceremony for how well you did the dishes last night? Ha! <laughs> you got nothing going on. Peter, I wish you'd get rid of this thing. It's an absolute eyesore. What do you care, Lois? You girls got the clam. We got the Quahog Men's Club. Besides, we're not hurting anybody. What are you talking about? You ripped a whole chunk of wall out of the house. What is this? There's something wrong with the house! I don't like change! Yes, I'll take this teddy bear, this ruler, this piece of string, and this cardboard box. Mmm. Oh, look, an On the Raggedy Ann doll. It's water weight, you bastard! Get off me! I'm not your whore! <laughs> I'm sorry! I'm just so sad! Well, I guess I can still play with it three weeks out of the month. Sorry. It's okay. I'm used to people being a little uncomfortable with me at first. If you have any questions, feel free to ask. Yeah, actually, I do. Are your other senses better on account of you can't hear? Like, can you smell my farts before they even come out? Because I got one in the pocket right now, and I want to know if I need to feel self-conscious about it. And we're back. 
with our coverage of the Quahog Thanksgiving Day Parade. Happy Turkey Day, Quahog. This is Tom Tucker and Joyce Kinney live at the parade. We've got some on and off drizzle here today, and we're a little wet, as you can see, because apparently there are no awnings that exist anywhere. There's your top news story right there. Mysterious awning shortage ravages the Northeast, but miraculously has not affected channels two or six. 